Welcome back. In a previous video, I set up a profile that included a mega tree with a star on top. The mega tree consisted of 32 strings of pixels. Each string had 50 pixels, and the star on top was three concentric rings with 25, 50, and 75 pixels in each ring. Now I'm going to show you how to set it up on a Falcon controller. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my setup display. You'll see that I have the mega tree and the three rings of stars in it. I'm going to add a controller here. This controller is going to be a streaming ECN controller, which is also known as E131. We'll click on that and then click the add button. It's going to ask me for the controller name. I'm going to call this the Falcon. F16 V2 and I will click OK. It's going to ask me how many outputs on this controller. I know from the previous video how many outputs I need. However, I'm going to make this a larger number than that for the time being. So I'm going to set this to 6000 for the moment. I'm going to click OK. Now when I look over here, I'll see that my mega tree has 4800 patch points. My star has 75 and 150 and 225. So if I add all of those up, again, by just selecting them all, I get 5250. Now I could have just set my number of outputs to 5250, but I am going to, um, I went a little high because it makes it a little easier to explain down the road. Anyhow, I'm going to go back here and right click on my Falcon F16 V2 controller and click configure. Here's where we configure the universes that go to this controller. So we need to put enough universes to contain 5,250 channels in it. So I'm going to do that simply here by going through and adding them. I'm going to make my size 512 because the Falcon works with 512 without a problem. It's going to be universe number one and size of 512, and it's going to start on the first output of this controller. I'm going to add another one. It's also, uh, it comes by default as 510, but I'm going to keep going here until I have an appropriate number. 512. 512. 12, getting closer, I'm at 38, okay, this starts at 46.09, and I think I need one more, 51.20, yes I do. Uh, technically, all I need is the difference between 5121 and 5250, so that's, what, 130? And that should be what I need. I'll leave the destination as multicast because I like that, and I'm going to click OK. Now, when I expand this controller, I'm going to see that it has got all of its outputs numbered, and then you have universe channel numbers, 111213. One, one, and it goes all the way down here somewhere. It's going to change over from uh, 5250 is my last one, which does indeed match the number of patch points I have here. So my 130 in that last universe was correct. And all of these other ones still just, um, they, they don't go to universes because there's no universes configured in there. Um, so they just have their output numbers. So at this time, I'm going to go back up to the top, and I'm going to adjust this controller channel count to be, instead of 6,000, it's going to be 50 to 50, and click OK. And if I go to the end of this list, you'll see that there's, those other channels are no longer there. Again, you could do it in advance, you could do it later. Um, I like to give myself more headroom up front, and then figure out the math, kind of using the software as the tools, and going from there. Now... In order to patch my Megatree to this controller, I'm going to go back up to the top, 
click my mega tree over here click my falcon controller over here and look down in the middle i'm going to see that it i'm going to ask it to use the unconnected patch points only and to only use unpatched outputs and i'm going to see that it has 4800 element patch points to 5250 controller outputs hit the patch button it will patch those elements okay so we notice now if i were to open up my mega tree all the way down to a string level all those gray balls now turn green and we got green balls in front of all of these outputs and that goes all the way down until 4800 uh, right in here and then 4801 becomes free I'm gonna go back up to the top of the list here to see that we're still selected I'm gonna close up my mega tree because I don't need it and you really don't need to check I'm just showing doing this for demonstration purposes and then I'm gonna take my star there's 75 150 and 225 I'm gonna do this all at once so I'm gonna multi select them for 450 and making sure that I still have only used unpatched outputs here selected right in this section then I'm gonna go back up here make sure I'm still collected and then see this will patch 450 element patch points to 450 controller outputs patch elements done if I go to the end of the list I see that they're all patched if I really wanted to verify what's patched where like say if I wanted to go to 4801 for example because I know that's where my star starts and see what that looks like I can click on graphical view at the top and see that star 1 these pixels uh, star 1 they go over to here so because I have this channel selected this is the one that shows up and it shows my patch point from the top point of the color breakdown through here and it goes across if I were to change my view over here and, and click on this button, it's only going to show me in the graphical view and in the tree view what exactly is patched into this. So if I have my this channel over here, for example, selected and I hit this button, it's going to open up that channel and bring me to the second pixel on that star and show me how that works. But the bottom line is right now, this is completely patched and ready to go. I can close it all up and we are good to go from the Vixen point of view. Now to go to the Falcon side, I'm going to open up my browser and go into the address bar and type in the address of my Falcon. I know that to be 10.10.1.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
to be 100 pixels and I'm going to do a zigzag so in my configuration here I'm going to start at channel 1 and each string so each output will be responsible for a string that goes up and a string that comes back down and it'll start in the forward direction we'll say my pixels are RGB color order but you could choose whichever yours happen to be I use no null pixels in here and my zig count here is going to be 50 so I'm moving 50 pixels up and then it will zag down the other way for the remaining pixels um, and then I will continue for there and then you'll notice that each of the rest of the strings will start at the next start channel from where the previous one ends so this one ends at 900 the next one starts at 901 and I'll continue that through for all 16 of my strings now what I have done to get the star in there is I took advantage of this virtual string I'm gonna just delete these real quick and show you how I do that so in my virtual string I'm gonna click add one and 4801 so that's right after my mega tree ends how do I know that back in display setup in Vixen if I look at my star see want to see where that starts I'm gonna click on this button and say find the output that it's patched to it opens up the controller and it will bring me down oh, yep that star is starts at 4801 and goes all the way through the next 75 pixels through 4875 so back into the configuration here I'm gonna go over here and we'll give it a name star inside and that's 4801 how many pixels there's only going to be 25 pixels here and we're not going to group it and it'll be forward RGB color order and uh, no zigzag but if I had it set to 50 that'd be fine and um, because it's greater than the number of pixels so that's my first ring my second ring I accidentally clicked on delete. I didn't mean to do that. All right, 4801, 25, and no zigzag. We'll do that. And let's add the next ring. This next ring has 50 pixels in it. 4875 starts at 4876. And the next one, I could pretty much count on this being in order. And we're going to put in 75 pixels group one and we'll see that it ends at 5250 which happens to be right where our other group ended up star three let's find where the end of that group is oh look at that it ends at 5250 back in here and that's pretty much all the setup we need to do so I've set up the mega tree that corresponds with this configuration in Vixen I'll go back in here I'm gonna click OK and I'm gonna bring my preview back up so that we can visually talk about it so my mega tree it has a string that goes up and then back down on each port so half of that the first 50 pixels is on is the is the zig and the second 50 51 through 100 is the zag which is starts after pixel 50 and goes from there that sequence repeats 16 times 16 times 2 is 32 and that gives us our 4800 channels and then right at the end of the 4800 on that very last string I attached the concentric star at the top with 25 50 and 75 pixels all in a continuous run which the controller can certainly handle and go from there so I have a mega tree with the three ring concentric star all configured to my Falcon controller I hope this helps you set up your controller and Vixen and give you examples on different ways that you could set up your different configurations the same logic can apply to many different configurations a, a matrix or a grid is really no different than a mega tree except that it's not uh, shaped like a cone at the top it would patch very much the same way other other shapes and other add-on types of props can be extended just like we did this prop concept with the with the star here at the bottom you can do similar things 
in any configuration you 